So today's tutorial is not going to be very much work in Unity because we're working with ADB, Logcat, and installing over Wi-Fi. So I want to be able to go file and just click build and run and that's going to build to my device over Wi-Fi and I don't have to have it connected via USB. And I can also use Logcat to, uh, to monitor uh, debug debug log messages for example uh, over Wi-Fi so that for a VR device like your VR where the USB port isn't available I can still actively get debug.log messages while the app is running so the first thing that we're gonna have to do here is let's open up a command prompt and we need to run ADB TCP IP 5555 and I'll put a link to this blog in the description so we're, we're going to say ADB TCP IP on port 5555 and it says error no devices or emulators found so before you can do this make sure you connect your device over USB and of course we already have USB debugging enabled on our device if you haven't done that definitely look into that that's that's uh that's like step one if you if you are already doing a build and run over usb then you obviously have usb debugging enabled so we're going to say that t adb tcp ip 5555 and it says restarting in tcp mode on port 5555 now we need to connect we need adb to connect to the device and so we need to get our device's IP address. So on my phone, I'm going to click on the settings button and then go all the way to the bottom to about phone and click on status. And settings about phone status is going to show my IP address. And I don't know if you can see it, but it's, it's right here. So I got my IP address and it is 192.168.1.91 so I need to say ADB connect 192.168.1.91 the IP address of my phone and so it says connected to that device and so if I, if I say ADB devices I see two devices because one of them is connected on USB and then this one is connected over Wi-Fi so I'm gonna disconnect the USB now and again, I'm going to run ADB devices, and it says no devices attached. So I actually need to run the ADB connect again. So now it says it's connected over Wi-Fi. On uh, disconnecting the USB, disconnected my Wi-Fi. So ADB connect again to 192.168.1.91, and now I can say ADB devices, and I can see that I'm connected to my phone right now over ADB. And that means that I can say file, build, and run because when you are connected to your phone over ADB, whether it's USB or Wi-Fi, uh, Unity just says, hey, what, what device is, is attached on, uh, on to ADB? And it, it, push, it builds the APK and then it does an ADB install on that device so it takes a little bit longer to copy that APK over um, and so yeah FYI just ADB install that's the command that's being run uh, and if you put an APK name after that that will install an APK to your phone okay to make things a little bit easier we could write a batch file if we wanted to and we would start with echo off and we could say Make sure the device is connected via USB. And then it's going to pause. And then we're going to do an ADB TCP IP 5555. And after that, let's please disconnect. And we're going to pause again. 
then after that we're gonna do an ADB connect and I don't know a really good way to have a batch script dynamically pull the IP address there's various uh, methods you could do um, like ADB shell net CFG and that's gonna show you your uh, your networks that are up and this is my IP address but how to pull that out into a into a script dynamically I don't know so uh, maybe maybe you want to assign a static IP address to your uh, to your phone to your device so that um, DHCP doesn't go change your IP address on you so I'm just gonna manually type it in ADB connect 192.168.1.91 and so it'd be good for me to tur turn off DHCP on my phone and make sure I always have that IP address uh, but I'll I'll keep it for a while anyways so no big deal and after that the script should be done so I'm gonna I'm gonna save this as a uh, I'll pause again so I can make sure I see myself connect and then I'm gonna save this as a dot bat a file to my desktop and let me see if it's gonna work and right now I'm uh, connected to the ADB device so I'm gonna do a um, ADB disconnect and everything's disconnected now so I'm gonna close that so now that I fixed my typo of 195 and it says 192 I'm ready to try this batch file out I'm gonna double click on it it says make sure that your device is connected via USB so I'm gonna plug in the USB and then I'm gonna push a key to continue and it says please disconnect the device from USB so I disconnected because it restarted a ADB and TCP mode on port 5555 and so I press a key to continue now it's gonna connect to uh, the device and it says press a key to continue and it closes my command prompt but if I start a new command prompt and I do an ADB devices I'll see that I am connected to my device via Wi-Fi and so now I'm ready to go and again this is this is what that uh, batch file looks like nice and simple and now at any point uh, like we already have we could do a build and run and that's gonna build and run over Wi-Fi and the other cool thing that we can do now is we can monitor with logcat over Wi-Fi so this is a gear VR game and what I've done is I've just have a simple uh, canvas here with some text on it and it says show the touchpad input and so the show touchpad input script what it's doing is it it does show the uh, the touchpad input on this canvas but the problem is this is running at 60 frames a second or at least it should be and I can't really pay attention to these values at 60 frames a second so that's cool that I can see them up here but I really need to monitor it via uh, debug log and then go back and look frame by frame what the input is so in my script this is all it does is it updates the text uh, but I've also done a uh, as long as it's not the value isn't zero because I don't want it to log a 0x and a 0y but it, it gets the mouse input X and the mouse input Y which is what the gear VR touchpad uses for the swipe and and it, and it logs that debug dot log and so here's the X and Y and I want to be able to to monitor this via logcat while the device is running and I can't do that over USB because it's plugged into the gear VR and I can't do any type of emulation because in order to use this touchpad the device has to be connected in so we can't use the developer mode essentially uh, when we're plugged in with the USB cord because in order to use the touchpad we got to be plugged into that USB the only way to get this to work is going to be to do a uh, logcat over Wi-Fi so because we're already connected to ADB that makes it really easy we need to go to our Android SDK and mine's at C drive Android SDK and if you don't know where that's at you could always just check your unity preferences and look at your external tools because it's gonna have the Android SDK location marked right there 
So if you go into your tools folder, you're going to notice that there's the monitor.bat. And monitor.bat brings up, if you wait for a moment, it brings up the uh, this right here. Now there's so much messages going through, you kind of need to filter it out. Now in my case, uh, you could type whatever you want into your debug.log message. Uh, but in my case, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do X because X, capital X, colon, I'm going to clear is what that uh, what the app what the debug dot line says so I'm running into gear VR mode and I put it in over Wi-Fi and I'm gonna cover up the sensor so that it just runs and it's launching the app there it is and if I swipe the mouse I can see the UI show it but that doesn't help but you'll notice what did happen here so you can see as I'm swiping, uh, I'm getting live, the live 60 frames per second um, reading of, of what the X and the Y input values are on the Gear VR. So I hope this tutorial was helpful. It, uh, it, it, it's kind of handy to watch your debug.log messages over Wi-Fi while you're in VR. And it's also kind of nice to be able to just click build and run uh, without always plugging in your phone in and out of the USB port. So stay tuned. We got a lot more mobile VR tutorials and Unity tutorials coming up right here on the channel. Don't forget to subscribe, like. See you guys in the next video.